Hi guys, this is Brett from Custom FX. I've had a few customers ask if I could make a quick video to show you how to install the mesh replacement switch panel for the 2015 to 2020 F-150 trucks. This will only apply to the power rear slider equipped trucks, either with or without sensors. The instructions included in with your switch panel is very clear but as we all know, a video definitely helps out with a great visual to show you exactly what needs to be done. That mesh will simply pop out and your new switch panel will go in place. When you do order your switch panel, it will be completely wired up and we will show you what steps need to be taken and the modifications necessary to make this work. It's very minimal, very easy, but this video will definitely help you show what needs to be done. I will post a link down below to show you how to remove your upper console down from your truck. It's very easy to do, and uh, that link again will be posted down below. But once you remove your console down from your truck, lay it down on the surface, and your mesh is held in with a series of clips, four on top and two down at the bottom. But you wanna push on these clips. And it pops right out. And this is what you have left over. Now what's nice about these switch panels is each corner you can see the alignment tabs those holes are utilized to bolt in your new switch panel. There's no drilling required whatsoever. But the center supports, there has the, what I call the I, H, and I, need to be cut flush. And also, that lip needs to be modified very slightly to accept this switch panel. The modifications are very minimal, and it has no ill effect if you ever decide to put this back to stock and the mesh will bolt and snap right back in place. And we'll show you that here next. Again, the next step is to remove your center supports, as I just call it the IHI. And you can actually use a utility knife if you want to, very sharp blade. You wanna cut those flush with the lip, or you could always use a pair of like little snips, a Dremel, but you wanna go ahead and cut those flush with the lip. And since I'm doing this one-handed, I'm gonna go ahead and do that ahead of time and show you the end result. Okay, I end up using the snips. Works out real nice. And that cuts it off flush. And the reason for this is when you have your switch panel and all your wiring, you need to slide your power cable in through this. Then you have all this wiring here. Um, that, that's simply in the way. So it just has to be removed just so the wiring can pass through. The other thing I wanted to show is questions are being, well, maybe I want more switches. Maybe I like to have five or six. You can only have four for a maximum, and this is the reason why. The OEM power rear slider switch housing is right behind that in the center. So it will not allow the depth of the switches to actually go in place, and it would simply be hitting the housing. So of course that leaves perfect room to have a custom laser etched logo uh, of your choice. But now the next step is going to show how the lip needs to be modified. It's just the upper lip. The reason being, and this one is not wired up, but I'll, uh, a little bit easier to show here. The retaining nuts on the back, when you go to install,
they're now interfering with that lip. So what you're going to need to do here is make a few little marks of where those locations are. And again, either use a utility knife, uh, your snips, a Dremel. And what you're going to want to carefully do is where these nuts will interfere with the lip. And it will clearance that out so it can actually sit flush. And I will do that now, and then I will show you the end result. You could either mark this from the front. For me, it's easier to mark from the back so you can see exactly what needs to be done. I had a switch panel raised up where the location of the nuts are going to be. You can see a couple marks that I have made. And I will probably either use probably the snips again or the utility knife, uh, whatever you choose. But what you're going to want to do Sorry guys, doing this one-handed here. And what you're going to want to do is just take off that lip. Do not go up into this area because that is what is seen. Once you make these little notches in here, it is covered up by the switch panel itself. You will not see it. And I will go ahead and cut those and show you how that fits at that point. What I decided to do here was to show you a couple different ways that I cut this. That one, I went with the same width of the nut. I went wider on this one. These two, I went from one end to the other end and took that piece completely out. You do not see that lip. The switch panel covers it up. Even if you put this back to stock, the mesh will cover it up. It simply is not seen whatsoever. Also shown are how it's bolted into place in the corners. That's utilizing those holes for the alignment tabs of the mesh. So there's no drilling required whatsoever. It simply just bolts on other than the modifications of the supports and for those retaining nuts. It's a real easy install. This also shows the reason why you cannot put any switches in the center. And this switch panel that I don't have wired up just to show you for display reasons but even once it's even wired up, there's just no clearance for a switch to go in the center. And uh, that's the OEM power rear slider switch is what that is. But unfortunately, you can only go with a maximum of four switches in these panels. But that space in the middle leaves a perfect area for a laser etched logo of your choice. Or you can leave it blank. Some customers do. But that logo is a free service. It is a gift. There is no charge whatsoever for any logo of your choice. I cannot stress that enough. No charge for any logos. To conclude this video, uh, since I don't have a truck here, uh, this is just to show you how to put that switch panel into place. Uh, your panel will be completely wired up like this. It'll be clearance to go around that switch panel your power cable wiring what you're going to do at this point is simply now snake this over fish it over to the passenger side of the truck remove the a pillar of the passenger side do not go over the airbag you will go beside the airbag and run your power cable down the a pillar and down to the bottom of the dash then you can reinstall your a pillar at that point uh, you can now fish your wiring out into the engine compartment if you went with a 12-foot um, power cable option. All wires, again, are labeled, so your wiring, you know what is what. All switches are grounded into one wire, so you only need one ground wire location. But each switch tells you power in and power out to connect to your relays properly. But you'll run your wiring out there and once this is out here you can do all your connections out in the engine compartment very conveniently out there near the battery um, and connect to your relays properly so this is going to conclude this quick little tutorial of how to install the switch panel into the console if you have any questions please feel free to email me directly at lethalweapon09 at yahoo.com thanks